Saturday. It is August 17th, 16th. And this is going to be a weekend in my life video. So basically I woke up at 5 a.m. because I'm cramping and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I got up and just sat on the couch and drank some coffee and did like some business ad admin stuff. Um, Honestly, not that much. And I watched Gilmore Girls because I was like emotional and I had my heating pad and my dogs were snuggling me. And even though I woke up early and like was in pain, it ended up being a really good morning. So now it's one o'clock and I finally decided to get off the couch and actually do something with myself. So I decided that since I'm not feeling my best today, it's just gonna be a self care day. And I'm just gonna do whatever I can to make myself feel better except for working out because that will for sure not make me feel better today. So I'm basically going to do a full self-care routine. So I'm gonna get in the shower, I'm gonna do like an everything shower. This is my favorite, Laneige lip sleeping mask. I've literally been using it since like 2019. And then I'm gonna do a self tan, full self tan like face with a little shaver, like microdermabrasion type situation. And I'm gonna clean my house because it's a disaster. And yeah, that's gonna be my day. So I figured I would take you along and give you a little bit of like a self-care routine because if you're here, it's probably because you follow me on TikTok. And I've been doing like short form videos of my self-care, my self-tan, and I get so many questions and I just can't put it all in like a three minute video. So I'm just gonna include it in this one. So before I get in the shower, I'm just gonna do my teeth whitening strips I have been doing this like once a week, honestly. If I do it too often, my teeth get really sensitive, but I use the Crest 3D white strips. Um, I like them. I think they do work. So I'm just gonna put them on and hop in the shower and they should be done pretty much by the time I get out. Okay, I just finished my shower. I've got my head in a little Kirby towel and I've got my robe on. Um, next, I'm gonna do what I do basically every two weeks and I use this like little shaver to get all the peach fuzz off my face. And before I do it, I always put on a little bit of oil just so it glides really smoothly. Like this is the ordinary 100% plant-derived squalane and I think it works really well, but it does not take very much. So just pat that on. I will link these below. It comes in a like pack of like six or something and it's extremely affordable, like under $10. And I use the same one for like two or three weeks and then I'll usually switch it out. But you literally just like pull your face tight and then start shaving away and then all your little peach fuzz will come off. Okay, I'm done and it literally took me like two minutes maybe to do my whole face and now it just feels really smooth and even and my tan will look really nice on top of it. All right, next I tint my eyebrows and my eyelashes every like two to three weeks. Sometimes I forget and go like a month without doing it, but this is a brand that I get. I have it linked um, below. It's also on my Amazon store, but I'm almost out so I kind of need to get some more, but it basically comes with this developer with these little capsules that it looks like a pill but it has the color in there and then it comes with this little brush and I just use my like this is an eyebrow brush I just use it and then wipe it off every time because it's I didn't want to buy spoolies basically so you just put a little bit of the paste on I usually use like a paper towel it actually sometimes comes with a little bowl but I threw mine away on accident so you just mix them together it comes out Something like this, I know it looks so disgusting. 
And then you literally just brush on your brows and wait. Um, this is the medium brown color, and because my brows are already, like, they're not super blonde right now, I'm gonna leave it on this for about a minute. I think it's been like around a minute. I usually time it, but I kind of can feel for it now. So then you just take like a wet rag. I use this rag every single time. That's why it looks disgusting. It's going to stain your rag. So don't use like your nice ones. And you just wipe it off. So here they are up close. As you can see, they're not like crazy dark, but that's, I don't want them to be crazy dark. I just want them to match my root color. And so, yeah. Next, I'm gonna do my lashes. And I take the same powder that I already mixed up and I just put it on the spoolie. It looks disgusting. Um, be very careful not to get it into your eye, but I just start lightly putting it on the ends of my lashes. All right, then I just clean off my spoolie and get it off my lashes after a couple minutes. All right, I'm finished with my lashes and my brows. They're not crazy dark, like I said. If I wanted them to be super dark, I could just leave it on for longer and they'll get like nearly black if I leave it on long enough. But I just want like a natural look because my brows and my lashes are so blonde that if I don't dye them, um, they will be invisible. So this is what I do every like two or three weeks to keep them just having like some sort of color. All right, now I'm gonna do my tan. This is what I've been using for about a year. It's the Dripping Gold Luxury Tanning Oil, mousse, not oil, in the color Ultra Dark. And then I use just a little mitt, and then I use these two brushes to contour. This used to be a big brush, and then it broke. But you could use any like thicker brush and smaller brush, but this is what I use on my face. Let me close my window. So my self-tan routine is literally nothing special. It's just pretty standard, if you ask me. Um, I know a lot of people swear by using latex gloves, but that just weirds me out. I like personally don't love the feeling of latex, so the thought of rubbing that all over my body is just, whew. All right, I'm done with my tan. And if you follow me on TikTok, you already know about the infamous self-tan onesie. Basically, every time that I tan, I put this thing on. That way it like does it. It's like all the way up to my feet. That way it doesn't like transfer on my furniture and my bed and whatever else. Um, also, because my dogs like to lick the self-tan off my legs and that is not cute. Um, but this is just like an Amazon women's onesie. I'll link it below. So now I'm gonna do my face. What I do is I take the tanner, I put a little bit on my mitt and then I basically dab into it for what I need with a brush. So it's going to look so funny and like hear me out, it's going to look good when I wash it off but right now it's going to look ridiculous. Basically what you're doing is contouring your face so anywhere that you would wear bronzer you put this. So I'm going to start with like just dabbing it where I would normally put my bronzer, like right here. It's going to look extreme right now, but when it's washed off, it will look a lot more blended. I'm also gonna blend it a little bit better before I actually go about my day. So I basically just think of all the places that I would normally get tan. Then you're gonna do under your jawline. And blend it down a little bit. You gotta be blended, you know? Then you're gonna contour your nose. And then the last step that I do is I just take what's on the mitt and like rub it around real nice. And then I just want to blend it to make sure that nothing is like extremely harsh because obviously I don't want to look goofy. So I just kind of pat around. See how it blends it just a little bit? It also makes my cheeks pink. Forgot to do my eyeshadow. I love doing self-tan eyeshadow because I feel like it makes your eyes really pop. 
even less work that you have to do in the mornings when you're getting ready. Just blending this a little bit better. All right, another hot tip. Make sure that you tan your ears just a little bit because if your face is looking tan and like behind your ears and that's not, it's like a dead giveaway. I always notice people's ears when they don't put self tanner on them. I know that's weird, but I love a tanned ear. Oops. All right, and then the last part that I do is my hands. And I basically make, I don't wanna have like any self tanner on my fingertips, which I already do. I don't know how that even happened. Let me wipe that off. So I just put a little bit more on the mitt and then I use the same brush and I do like the smallest amount, like you can barely even see it on the brush. And I just go over my hands and my knuckles and this is gonna make it so much more even than if you were to use the mitt. So like I literally just start going around, open your knuckle creases, make sure you get those really well. Make sure you get around the sides of your hands and in between your fingers. Then you have really nice hand tan and it looks natural and you're not gonna have cell tanner hands. You can also do this to your feet. I just don't really care right now, to be honest, so I'm not going to. Got my hands done. My face is done. It's looking pretty blended enough um, to where it's gonna look nice when the cell tanner is off. And now that I'm looking at it, I think I might need to put a little bit more on my chest because I just know my face is gonna be tanner than my chest. Oh, no, I can't because I already did it on my hands. Okay, we're gonna try this out then. Just using the brush with whatever's left on my mitt. If this isn't even, then you know what? It wasn't meant to be. All right, that is my self-tan routine. I'm just probably just gonna leave this on, be in my self-tan onesie like all day until I go to bed. And then tomorrow, the way that I keep it looking really fresh for like a whole week is I just use Lux Unfiltered and I put it on like every couple days. I feel like it just keeps it really even and when it starts wearing off, it's not as like abrupt where all of a sudden one day you are splotchy. It like definitely makes it last longer. Last part of my self-care day is just my hair. I'm just gonna put some whey, leaving conditioner in it. I use this every single day. Like every time my hair is wet, I put this in here before I brush it. I swear by this stuff. Then I'm just gonna brush it through. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of Olaplex bonding oil and I'm gonna let it air dry. I um, dry my hair with a round brush pretty much every other time that I wash it. So today is one of those days where I'm just gonna let it air dry. Alright, it is a lot later in the day now. It's like 5. Um, you can see how my tan is setting. It looks even crazier than it did this morning. But I promise it will look really good when it washes off. Um, but I've honestly just been filming TikToks and scrolling TikTok and sitting on the couch all day. So I think now I'm just going to clean because as you can see behind me, my house is a disaster. Um, so I'm going to do one of those super satisfying quick clean videos. Look at this ridiculous work from home situation that I'm dealing with. I haven't um, posted it on TikTok yet, but I did get a walking treadmill and I love it, but it doesn't just like fit on the ground here, so I have it propped up. For sure looks ridiculous, but there's nothing else that I can do with it. And it also really blocks this light switch, but you know, it is what it is.
ready it's the next morning and I'm about to get ready so we can go shoot some content today um happy easter we are unfortunately not with our family today but we're gonna have just kind of like a casual day it's really sunny we were planning on going thrifting and we have to get groceries and do a bunch of stuff like that but then we realized um that it's easter so everything is closed so we're just gonna like have a nice casual day like shoot some content i think we're gonna like drive around and do a nice little sunday drive which always just makes me so happy and like fuels my soul because it's like it's just like fun to drive around and dream together and talk about what we want and what we want our future to look like and things like that i feel like it's important for couples to just do that often otherwise you just get like caught up in the day-to-day -day and you forget that you both are working towards something together so yeah i'm really excited to do that today i did want to give you an update on the self tan though i washed it off last night before bed and as you can see like i don't have really harsh lines like i did yesterday when i put it on and i think it looks really good and soft and i have like a natural tan on my face but it's still a little bit contoured and then it looks even better once you have makeup on and it's really like amplified i'm gonna get ready and i will see you later all right we are shooting some content this is what it's like to be a content creator we're literally at lowe's <laughs> but they're closed because it's easter so we get to get the whole side of the building to ourselves max is a photographer so luckily it just makes it way easier but this is the outfit you'll see this all over tiktok soon and instagram Thank you for watching my first vlog, my first YouTube video. I'm so excited to keep making more content and putting it out for you guys because I just wanna share like all of my tips, all of my routines, my whole life. Like I'm just really excited to share. So let me know in the comments what you wanna see and make sure you subscribe and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And yeah, thanks so much. Bye.